Hello and welcome everyone, Larnart here, and today I have another raw review for you. I'm looking at the Steel Series uh, Gunner Optics Desmo, uh, which I'm actually wearing on my face right now. These are some gaming glasses. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, really, gaming glasses? Do you really need them? You know, why would you want gaming glasses? Surely they're quite expensive. What if you don't wear glasses? What if you do wear prescription glasses? You know, are these for me? I'm going to be answering hopefully all those questions and more in this little video. But first, let's have uh, some a uh, look at the Desmo, so some nice close-up shots, and I'll tell you a little bit about the glasses themselves. To the glasses! So, these are the Steel Series Desmo, designed and developed with Gunner Optics. Now, uh, when I contacted Gunner, they were actually kind enough to say that I pretty much had full... Uh, full range uh, of choice basically to choose a design a uh, pair of glasses that I wanted to review and uh, I went for these because I like their design and pretty much for most of the uh, the gunner optic glasses it a lot of the the difference in between the different uh, sort of models is the design so the lenses still pretty much do the same thing for each model obviously it's worth checking but they pretty much do the same thing for each model but it's mainly up to the specific design choice. And you can see you've got the Gunner logo in the top left there, which I should say, if anyone's worried about that getting in the way when you're gaming, it does not at all. I, I don't even notice it when it's on because it's obviously slightly higher than where my vision's going to be. But I like them because they almost have like an aviator-styled um, look to them. Um, I'm a big fan of aviators, even though they probably don't suit me. I like them. Um, I think that's probably most people with aviators, to be honest. But these look really cool. As you can see, they are pretty lightweight. Um, the frame... Here's just obviously the metal on the arms here, but that is done with a specific reason. And obviously, this is Steel Series and Gunner working together on this. Uh, Steel Series, obviously, renowned for their headsets and what have you, as well as, as, well as other gaming peripherals. And I've actually reviewed a few of their peripherals already, um, but these will slide easily under a headset, um, and they're very comfortable when you do so. They have these uh, these plastic. Um, protectors on the end here as such, which you can take off if you want to, but uh, they just make it more comfortable when it's resting on your ears, and then obviously if you've got a headset on as well, that helps with the clamp on as such uh, of the headset ear cup. But these are very cool looking, they've got the Steel Series logo over here, and uh, yeah, as you can see, there is obviously a orangey yellow tint to it, which I'll talk about a little bit more when I've got them on again in a moment. But on the whole, these are incredibly, uh, incredibly good bits of kit. Um, I can't really fault the design. I like the design. Again, the design is kind of the one I went for. I went for this design, so I'm not really going to fault it. So I can't find anything to fault it as such. Um, some might say it feels a little bit flimsy. You know, you've got these joints back here, but it just keeps the design nice and lightweight. And and with any glasses, you do have to be careful with them. You're not exactly going to throw these around. And you don't want something clunky and heavy on your face. So personally, I think that these things uh, being nice and light is a very good thing. Thumbs up. Um, so, yeah, I can't really think of much else to say about these. Um, but if you want to know about the specific IAMP technology that goes into the lens, um, along with, obviously, the Carl Zeiss lens um, vision technology that's in there, there will be a link in the description where you can check out what the IAMP technology that goes into these lenses is all about and what it specifically does. But what it specifically does that I'll tell you about very briefly is that it helps you stay focused, play for longer, and protect your eyes. Now, the main thing is eye fatigue that you'll probably want to be looking into these for, you know, to prevent headaches. The way that these do this with the lens is that um, when you're staring at a screen for a long amount of time, you don't blink as much as you normally would, which means that your eyes, uh, when you blink, your eyes actually, you do it obviously to protect your eye, but it's also to keep them wet, to keep them moist. And when you're staring at a screen for long amounts of time, because you're concentrating, you're focused, which is obviously a good thing when you're gaming, you need to stay there, you don't want your mates to die or you don't want to lose, um, they dry out, they start to dry out. So these prevent kind of that dry eye syndrome as such by um, keeping the contrast, bringing it down to kind of a more um, more tolerable level um, so that you will actually blink more naturally and thus keep your eyes um, wetter or more moist as they should be. So that will help when your eyes dry out and stuff like that. That's when you start getting like headaches and things like that and you start getting you know, like eye fatigue. So these are all designed to protect your eyes, keep them, keep them wet, and, uh, you know, help reduce headaches and things like that. And as someone who spends a lot of time, you know, making YouTube videos day in, day out, and spending a lot of time at the computer, this was a key thing for me. Anyway, we've had a look at them 
obviously not on my face. Let's switch back to seeing them on my face and I'll tell you a little bit more about my experience with them, how they help me with eye fatigue, and then we'll wrap up this review. So now we've had a look at some of the key features of the uh, Gunner Optics uh, Steel Series Desmo glasses. I'm just going to give you kind of my feedback on its eye fatigue reducing capabilities, how I felt wearing them, and whether I recommend them or not, and what score I'm going to give them. So basically, eye fatigue. Actually, before we get onto that, I'm just going to show you guys, or try to show you through the, the lens of my camera, what this looks like, what you're looking at. So as you can see, there you go, that's actually a good comparison because you can see my jumper both through the lens and not through the lens uh, of the Desmos. So it does make everything go a bit orange. Now, it will take you, I think it took me about 10-15 minutes. Once I got absorbed into the game I was playing, I really didn't notice the change in colour. And it's probably the easy way to explain the change in colour is like putting the warm filter on uh, a picture on your camera or something like that on your phone. It works very much the same in it, obviously it um, ups the contrast to basically uh, be less uh, bright for your eyes, be less harsh on your eyes. So you'll obviously blink more naturally, keeps those eyes moist, and uh, yeah, it will help reduce eye fatigue. And does this reduce eye fatigue? Yes, they do. Uh, I honestly wasn't that sure whether the how how good these would be, if they would help or not. Uh, I'd known about the Gunner Optics brand for quite a long time because actually I stumbled across their their website years ago. Actually, it was like. Gunner Optics, that is a cool name. Gunner Optic. It just, just sounds cool. Um, good choice of name there, guys. But, um, no, these, these really do work. <coughs> Excuse me. These really do work, and I can't really fault them. The lightweight design some people might find is a bit flimsy. Personally, I like that it's a thin design because it means that it will fit on your head comfortably with a headset, which I will just show you now. Come here, headset. Whoop, got it. This is the Corsair Vengeance 1500, but fits snugly on my face with the Gunner Optics, and it doesn't hurt at all. Once you've got the nose pads adjusted at the front there, obviously behind the lens, um, adjusted to support your nose, won't be a problem, and fits all very nice and snugly. There's no extra pressure, um, you know, and the I should say the Corsair Vengeance is quite a tight fitting headset, so that's why I wanted to show it with um with that headset on, because that normally does add a little bit of compression to my face, but even with that on, no extra um compression or uh uncomfortable uncomfortable feeling by my ears. So very good, and again these uh, little bits of plastic that cover the ends, really nice little uh, addition there to just improve comfort a little bit. So yeah, overall I really like the design. I think it's absolutely awesome. Uh, it's a great design for the glasses and I think it works really well with all the branding and what have you. Uh, the lens, as I said before, is, is a little bit chonky. It's a chonky lens, but I don't have a problem with that. Um, generally don't see how that would create an issue as such um, on your face. It's not like you're trying to put something else on your face as well. And it just make, it does make it feel a bit kind of more robust as well. And again, as I said, I, I like the kind of almost aviator look to them. I like the big, wide, almost panoram panoramic viewing angle that it provides. So, would I recommend these? Yes, I ruddy well would, because your eyes honestly cannot be uh, taken for granted. They should be protected if you can, and for long hours, I mean, I spend, um, on average, a couple of hours each day just making videos. Then I spend time, you know, replying to comments, uh, playing some games with subscribers and then probably if I have some time left over if I'm not going out and seeing uh, my friend's family and girlfriend then um, you know I'm probably just doing my own little bits of gaming in the evening and just relaxing then but then that is quite a lot of hours of the day I'm spent looking at a screen and as I said I've taken about two to three weeks to review these I normally take about one to two to review most products but I wanted to give them a proper stress test and they have passed with flying colors I've worn these pretty much every single day I've gamed. I've taken one or two games, uh, games days off rather, to uh, go back to gaming or go back to kind of YouTubing as such without these on to just see what the level's like. And on those days, I haven't exactly suddenly got a, a, a raging headache as such, but I have felt more fatigued, my eyes have felt a bit more strained. And when I take these off, my eyes still feel nice and refreshed and moist. That is the key word of the day, moist. Um... So these definitely work, they help reduce eye strain, they reduce obviously the chance of me getting headaches and things like that. So if you do sit in front of a computer screen or TV screen or any sort of screen 
uh, you know, gaming or doing whatever for long amounts of time, I highly recommend these. If you don't like the look of these design and want something different, have a look on the Gunner Optics webpage, which will be in the description, because they have a full range of so many different designs. I went for these because these appeal to me the most, they may not appeal to you, but have a look. So, obviously while I'm reviewing the Desmo, uh, have a look at the full range of the Gunner Optic uh, glass that they have there. But anyway, these guys, the Desmos, um, designed and developed uh, Gunner Optics and Steel Series, they're getting a full 10 out of 10. Obviously I don't have other gaming glasses to compare them to, but as a gaming peripheral and the basically the science behind them and for what they actually do, the real world application of these is I'm very impressed. So they get a full 10 out of 10, great bit of kit if uh, if you know you want to help protect your eyes, reduce eye fatigue, spend a lot of time staring at strict screens, these are for you. So as always, I hope you've enjoyed this review. I'll hopefully bring you some more reviews soon, but in the meantime, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, which will be down there somewhere. I don't know where it's gone on this new system. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to give it a comment and a share. Really appreciate to uh, know what you guys think about um, you know, gaming uh, glasses. And uh, perhaps what's the wackiest peripheral you've ever seen for uh, your gaming setup? What's the craziest accessory you've ever seen? But uh, if you have a pair of gaming glasses, well, I'd love to hear what you think of them as well and whether they help you out. And uh, as I said, uh, Gunner Optics also offer a prescription um, service as well. So if you have prescription glasses, if you don't have full 2020 or 2020 corrected vision, um, then you can actually apply to Gunner Optics. I'll put a link to that in the description as well for their prescription program where they will obviously make the lenses work for your prescription. So that's, that's pretty darn awesome as well. So as always, hope you enjoyed. Ciao for now.